In this day and age, some people say nuclear and they think a big mushroom cloud. Nuclear power is a safe and efficient way to propel the ship through the water and generate electricity. The, the feeling is not, uh, it, it's almost over, overwhelming when you think about the responsibility that you have as the man in charge of a ship that is 1,000 feet long. It displaces 90,000 tons of water and the crew is around 2,500, but when the airplanes and the squadrons come aboard, that's another 2,500, so there's roughly 5,000 people, in, and you're responsible for the safety of all those folks. Like I said, if you stop and think about it, it's, it's overwhelming, so I didn't stop and think about it. <laughs> it, it it's, it's a stair-step process that Navy gives you ever-increasing levels of responsibility as a commanding officer. So you grow into it. And the Navy is very uh, good at picking those people who should be in those leadership positions because that's a national asset. Uh, at the time the Ronald Reagan was built, it cost the taxpayers five to six billion dollars. Now that's a lot of real money. But I will tell you that ship serves our country for 50 years. That's the life of the hull of the ship. The ship is built, the nuclear reactors are fueled the first time, then at about 23, 24 years of service, it goes to dry dock, it has some other maintenance done, and they refuel the reactors. Well, 23 years, it's good for another 23, 24 years, the 50-year life, we get a bargain, have an aircraft carrier that only takes two tanks of gas. <laughs>